So we have another problem here. Limit x tends to 0. x log base e 1 plus 4x divided by e to the power of 3x minus 1 into sin x. So before starting doing problems in lim limits, I started discussing few uh, standard cases, right? So those standard cases will be useful in, in this time. If you could see x log e, e 1 plus 4x, right? So if I bring this x to the denominator, what will happen? Instead of multiplying x in the numerator, I could write this x in the denominator, right? So what is this term? You, we might have seen e to the power of ax minus 1 by x limit x tends to 0 is equal to a, right? This is we see in a standard case. So in this case, a is nothing but 3. So this complete term, this complete term will change to 3. Now what I am going to do, there is a sin x and already we discussed one kind of uh, standard case which involves sin x. What is that? Sin x by x when limit x tends to 0 will be equal to 0, right? So what I could do? I could multiply and divide by 1 by x. So if I multiply and divide by 1 by x, 1 by x in the numerator and 1 by x in the denominator. Now what will happen to the sin x by sin x by x? So we have another standard case when limit x tends to 0 and sin x by x will be equal to 1. So now I guess you would have understood why I said to remember the standard case. It is important to remember the result so that you can directly apply in the formula. So this will become 1. So now what else we have? 3 and 1 we already found limit. So limit of x tends to 0. 1 by x log of base e 1 plus 4x. Now we know we know the principle of logarithm. If it is in multiplication I can take it to the power right. So which will be equal to 1 by 3 limit x tends to 0 log of base e 1 plus 4x whole power 1 by x. So now what else I could do? So instead of instead of a, 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 uh, either we could do a standard case which we did already. Directly we did a standard case for, for this or else if you are not comfortable with this then we can directly solve from this step. We already did a standard case from this. From that standard case just by substitute uh, just this result will become 4 right. X uh, there in the standard case 1 plus x it was there. Here it is 1 plus 4x. So obviously it is going to be it is going to be getting converted into 4. Our answer should be 4. Instead of directly coming from the standard case um, let us let us directly substitute let us directly substitute the limit. So what will happen from this step? So if I substitute x is 0 log of base e 1 plus 0 by 0 which is nothing but 0 by 0 log of 1 is 0 by 0 so which is indeterminate case. So now what is the second step? What is the next step? Differentiate the numerator and the denominator separately. Numerator is this which is 1 by 1 plus 4x into First, I differentiated the complete term. Now, I need to differentiate this 4x, right? That is the cyclic rule of differentiation. So, if I differentiate this 4x, it will be 4 divided by denominator is x. And if I differentiate the denominator, it will become 1. So, now I forgot to represent the limit here. Limit and 1 by 3, 2. 1 by 3 limit x tends to 0. So, if I substitute x to x 0 here, what will happen? 4 into 0 will be 0. 1 plus 1 will be 1. So, 4. So that is what I said directly from the standard case. If you go back to the video, you will get to know. In our standard case, we discussed log of base e 1 plus x. Here it is 1 plus 4x. So instead of 1, it is 4. So directly we can write it as 4. Or else you can do by our Hellapital method also. So 4 by 1 and there is already 1 by 3. So 4 by 3. So this is our answer for this problem. So that is the reason why I said remembering the standard case directly substituting it you will either steps for the procedure steps for the problem will be reduced easily.